For me, I think the first impression Canada gives to me is the first moment when our plane landed safely on the airport and the blue sky we saw there. And I think the sky there was just like painted on it. And the, the white clouds changed every moment for every, every day. And that was amazing and fantastic. I love it and I was quite fond of it. Maybe I think when the time comes I will have to leave, I think I will remember it forever. Uh, first, I think the competition is very good because uh, I think it is very, very different from our accommodation in China. Um, because when I first uh, came into the accommodation, my room, I think it was very, very clean, and uh, there were two rooms in one, uh, in one, yeah, one, one suit. And uh, I think we can have our um, a personal, some personal affairs in our own room, and I think that the some. Uh, uh, staff are very uh, complete, just like uh, the microwave or the uh, fridge. Uh, they can help us to maybe some cook some food or maybe some uh, to raise to store some food from the supermarket. And I think it is very convenient for us to stay in the room. Yeah. I think the, our accommodation just like a hotel, and uh, the things are very, very, very convenient for us to use. And every day you have no trouble with the trash or the uh, clean things about uh, your room. You, uh, because every day they have housekeeping for you. And when when I come back to my dormitory, there is a. A uh, clean and uh, beautiful room for me every day. Uh, you know, there are some movie theaters and uh, some computer labs and uh, student um, associations and blah blah blah. Uh, it, it is, uh, there are many study spaces for us to use. So I think it is very convenient and uh, mm, we have more time to study and uh, walk around. First, I have to admit that I not feel very good about the food here because when I go to the, when I went to the canteen, uh, I think the vegetables are very different because in our China we uh, just ate some uh, uh, cooked vegetables are very delicious, but in, in here uh, we just ate some raw vegetables and. Uh, Maybe it was delicious for the uh, local people, but uh, after some days, I feel, um, I, uh, after some time, I feel eh, maybe I will like this food. And uh, now I like my uh, school canteen very much. I like eating some, uh, you know, some noodles, some, especially the, the fish, it's very delicious for me. I like the fish. So now I'm very like our uh, Gong Gong College's canteen. I think it is very, uh, delicious and very convenient for us to eat. Uh, I think the big shock is the bus system because I think uh, um, every time I want to take a bus, it's a very high um, fare to buy the bus tickets. It's about uh, 3.55 dollar every time. Uh, just uh, in our country it's very cheap to take a bus. But one good thing is to if you have to, uh, get in, get on the bus, you can get a, a ticket and you can change another bus in one hour one hour and a half. I think it's a very good thing. Uh, certainly fun and life here is really very really safe. At first, when we found so many foreigners here, uh, we will feel strange, a, bit, a little bit afraid. But later on, find out this is really a very safe place. Not just the campus is safe, but the whole city is really safe. People in here is very friendly, and uh, you come to the road, and everybody will say hi, hello. And yeah. the people in our college is very nice. When we are lost, they are willing, absolutely willing to help us. I think that the people here are really very friendly. Uh, some students say that you don't need to speak too much English, you just need to say excuse me or thank you. 
as Chinese, we have this duty or responsibility to spread our countries, uh, our country's own culture to other people, yes. and I think it will um, build uh, a bridge, a bridge um, between the two countries. I I want to uh, learn from their the way of their thinking, uh, to learn their critical thinking. Uh, absolutely, our Chinese thinking is different from theirs. Mm, for example, uh, we solve the problems from different aspects. Uh, I think it's fantastic. As a foreign student, I think the biggest challenge here is the language barrier because of the uh, our limited uh, limited vocabulary and we are not very good at English. So sometimes in the mm -hmm. class we can't follow or understand the teacher teacher's words. Yeah. But it's okay because teacher here is very friendly. They are very kind. They are, uh, they want to help you yeah. if you have any questions. Want me to help you with that, or you can walk? I also talked with our teacher Leila, and he, she said the students are better in uh, grammar mistakes, and I think this is uh, something I feel very proud of myself because <laughs> our Chinese persons, our Chinese teachers, all of, always pay uh, a lot of attention to the grammar mistakes, and they try to correct their pronunciation. Yet here, through the experience here, we find. All of them are not so important. The most important thing is to use the language rather to learn it. Okay. That was a very nice presentation. Good. Everybody in the group there, you're speaking very well. I really appreciate. I see the improvement in you. That's great. Uh, to be honest, a different country will have their uh, different way of learning. When I was in China, our class always pay more attention on English writing, grammar, and the pronunciation. But when I came to Canada, Gongkong College, uh, because of face the, the native speaker, so our teacher would always establish a harmonious and active uh, uh, atmosphere. Uh, so we would uh, talk and uh, communicate with each other in a group. Uh, I think it is a good way of learning English because we uh, not only can learn the uh, language but also can enjoy different ideas and uh, thoughts from different people. Our teacher encouraged us to speak, speak bravely and uh, they will try their best to help us to understand uh, and uh, let me know the meaning of that. <coughs> after part one, um, while you are you're watching, you make notes, and after that we will discuss. Well, one thing I want to add is that Lela show us the YouTube. Well, you know China, Chinese people cannot see YouTube video, but let us uh, show that to us, and I, I think it's very interesting, very fresh to us. So uh, I think it would be relatively straightforward to make sure that all the staff in the hotel were up to, up to speed with the location amenities around them, the tourist information that was available. They could link in with a local tourist information office, even have some of their representatives based at the hotel to provide an additional service. It's really a wonderful program. We, we have witnessed that some students used to be very silent and uh, introverted. And now they are really active and become confident. Uh, and just as my friends say that teamwork, yes, this is a very big difference. Um, they learn how to cooperate. I think the cooperation is really a very, very useful skill for them. Um, they need they learn how to communicate, how to negotiate, and how to make a, a group work. Um, I think that they can be very proud of themselves. So we are, and we as teachers, as assistant teachers, are also very proud of their performance. They are really learning quickly. Mm, the teamwork is very common in our class and uh, we always build up several teams and the discussion, discuss our questions, um, exchange our ideas and uh, make a poster and finally we can show our products in front of our class 
and I think uh, the team or teamwork is very useful to promote us to speak English and uh, promote our cooperation. In, in that place, the teacher will put the, some uh, review on the blackboard and in China we don't have these tools for us to review what we learned in class, so it's very convenient. Well, as a language learner, so study in a country which speaks English is necessary. And in China, we have we also have our foreign teachers. They come from America, they come from Russia, and their way of teaching is quite uh, similar to what we receive in Canada because they all belong to Western cultures. But the thing that makes this different is that our English lesson here never ends. Whether you are in the street, you are in the supermarket, you are in the residence, every Canadian you met here can be your English teacher. And I think it's the most terrific thing about studying in Canada. Um, teacher there, they pay more attention to group work in class. And uh, we all know that in Chinese college, uh, we just have final exam, but uh, in this college, we also have quizzes sometimes. Most times, our teacher will offer us a simulative occasion and give us some real cases so that we can learn um, really vivid, vividly. I, I think in, in this college, I, it's very flexible and uh, we can drink some coffees, <laughs> eat, eat some food. It's okay in, in, co in this college, but in China we always have some rules. The teachers te teach different students in different ways because different students have uh, different levels and she will divide the students into different uh, groups. And, and uh, in China we call it Yin Cai Shi Jiao. I think it's a uh, I think it is a very effective way to learn and it ensures that every student will learn much knowledge as much as possible. So, um, Nicole, Stretch, and Lori, you please join your friends. Would you please go to the bathroom? You will find many surprises <laughs> in Algon College yes. and also in Canada. Come to Algonquin and it makes you find a surprise in your own self.